This is a quick overview of the Froling S3 Turbo wood boiler. The Froling S3 Turbo is available from Tarn Biomass at www.woodboilers.com. When the outer boiler door is opened, the first thing that happens is that this switch makes contact. That switch brings the induction fan up to full speed so that the boiler is safe to open and all smoke is pulled up the chimney. Now the loading door is almost as wide as the boiler itself and it's quite tall and located at waist height so it's easy to use. This is what it looks like inside the boiler. This is the smoke extraction passage. So if there's any smoke present when the door is opened, it gets pulled up through and into this passage, goes across the top of the boiler and straight up out the chimney. There's cladding located around the inside walls of the firebox. The cladding helps the boiler to achieve higher operating temperatures in the firebox for better combustion. Primary air comes in through these perforations at the base of the cladding. Secondary air comes in through this silver colored pipe located in the refractory and under the grate system. Now this grate that you see on the right is tipped up for illustration purposes. Normally it lays flat like the grate on the left. Now after filling this boiler, the loading door is closed and the lighting door is opened. And this is a really neat feature. You just ball up a bunch of paper or cardboard in this opening and you ignite it. The induction fan pulls the flame right through the base of the wood load and it ignites really fast. This is the secondary combustion chamber which is located at the base of the boiler. It's about 150 pounds and its cylindrical shape makes it really strong. This is a long lasting refractory. This is also the area where a lot of the ash is pulled out. This is the control panel. Almost all the functions of the boiler are controlled by the red arrows on the right. The display shows things such as boiler temperature, buffer tank temperature, operating hours, and many more features. Everything is by English language menu and in Fahrenheit. On the side of the boiler, you'll see a sweeper handle. This handle is connected to the turbulator system. Every time the boiler is loaded, a few sweeps of that handle lift the turbulator up and down, scraping the ash off the heat exchange tubes. Now the turbulators increase efficiency on their own, but the additional scraping function keeps those tubes clean and in most cases enables the operator not to have to scrape the boiler tubes down with a brush, which is a really nice thing. Also below that handle, you will see these primary and secondary air dampers. Now these are connected to a rod that goes right through the back of the boiler. And there's a set of butterfly dampers on each side that these motors control. I've taken the cover off the other side so that you can see these butterfly dampers. Now there's a match set on the, under the motors on the other side. This is what they look like. Also, below the motors, there's a clean out door. So any ash that falls down from the heat exchange tubes can be pulled out of this door. You don't have to pull the ashes all the way from the front. That's handy. You may have noticed that there are knockouts on the opposite side. Here, here. Everything on this boiler is re reversible. So you could mount that scraper handle on the left or the right. Same with the dampers, same with the clean out door. The front door hinges, loading door, lighting door and ash door hinges are all reversible. On the back of the boiler is a variable speed fan. This is a power cord. This is a speed sensor cord. This fan is mounted on rubber bushings so that it's very quiet. That fan pulls smoke up through these heat exchange tubes and out the flue collar. In the flue collar, you'll see there are two sensors. Here's a thermal sensor or a thermometer. And over here, 
is the oxygen sensor. Those two sensors send their input to the core module, which sits up on top of the boiler. And the core module tells the, the primary and secondary air dampers how much to open and close, and also, uh, together with the boiler temperature sensor, how fast the fan speed should be. The other module up here is what we call the hydraulic module. This module will turn any standard pump into a variable speed pump, which helps with heat storage loading and buffer tank stratification. So that's a quick overview of the Froling S3 Turbo. I have removed several of the covers in advance so that it's easier to show this video. So please excuse the look. Feel free to contact us, ask any questions, or ask us to shoot more video at 800-782-9927 or 1-800-STAY-WARM.